Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So I was going up to my update manager to install some new system updates and lo and behold, I found a really nice surprise and that was an update for Linux Mint 19.1 Tessa. And so I went ahead and upgraded as before I was running Linux Mint 19 Tara and with every new release of Linux Mint for me, it just keeps getting better and better. So this is a point release. So it's not a major release. However, it is a long-term support version. So it's going to be supported till 2023. And a lot of the changes here, once again, they're not major. A lot of it is under the hood stuff. So I'm going to go over some of the main points. And so the very first change that they made was actually to the update manager. If you actually go to your Linux kernels, as before, you could actually choose which kernel you want to use, new or old. But the great thing is they added a feature called remove old kernels. So you could remove multiple old kernels that you're no longer using. So this is a small but very, you know, pleasantly welcome convenient feature that I'm glad that they added. And other things that they was actually for the software sources. And all of these things, uh, they might be missed, you know, if you don't use Linux Mint a lot. But once again, these are very small but very helpful refinements. So that's another thing. And then they made some under the hood improvements to Nemo, the file explorer. And basically they just made it faster. And they also added some additional things right here for the preferences. So they made it more like the X app preferences. And I really rarely go in here. So I really don't know the difference to be honest with you, but it is more features and more control over how Nemo works. And to be honest, for me, my Linux Mint box is pretty fast already. So any speed improvements that they make, I cannot really tell. And what you could also do here, if you actually hover over these uh, taskbar settings right here under your panel, you know, this there, there's text for what you're hovering over right there. But now you can also change that as well. And then you go to preferences and configure. What it will allow you to do is show the title above the thumbnail. So if you unclick it, you see now it doesn't say home underneath the thumbnail. So this is a very small, but once again, welcome feature. This is something that is already available in Windows. And so I do like this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And then other things that they've done is uh, primarily the X apps. You know, I really don't use them. And so if you are using X apps, they are improved there as well. And uh, the final thing is actually themes. They've added more variations to the Mint themes. So the Mint Y, Mint X Dark, and so forth. Uh, I myself, I really use a combination of the Mint Borders controls and also the Vivaldi desktop theme and also the Flat Remix Dark. So you might not notice it just by looking at my desktop, but it's there for anybody who likes to use those default themes. And those are overall the biggest changes that I've seen. Uh, but for me, the one thing that I've always loved and cherished about Linux Mint is with every new release that they make, it just improves the overall experience. And a lot of these things aren't things that you'll see. You know, it's not a big visual overhaul, but it's all those little things that I just mentioned. You know, those things that will make your user experience a lot better and also still giving you the control that you know and love when it comes to using a Linux distro. And so those are my quick thoughts and also quick review of Linux Mint 19.1 Tessa. If you are using Linux Mint 19 Tara, I do recommend that you upgrade. Uh, it is a really great update. I didn't have any problems and it also fixed a few other things. I was having graphics uh, issues and then I think that has to do with drivers. And once I updated, I no longer had that problem. You might not have the same problem, but for me, it fixed some things as well that were nagging me. But overall, excellent release. Thanks so much to the Linux Mint team. And if you do want to support them, you could always go to their website and, you know, make a donation to the Linux Mint team. So if you had any thoughts on Linux Mint 19.1 Tessa, I'd like to know what they are. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full 
written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.